Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 by the Lucid Simmer. A link to the Lucid Simmer's channel and the rules will be in the description below, as well as a playlist for all the videos in the series. So May has finished her tasks and so has Adora. So we're just getting the family something to eat. And what we're also going to be doing today is taking the toddlers to work with us. So that'll be fun. Okay, so we're opening the store and we did bring the toddlers with us because I think they're old enough to be hanging around the store now that they can climb up and down stairs and use the potty on their own. So what I did is took the underground area and remade it into a toddler daycare. So this used to be an office and a safe for whatever reason. I didn't really need that, so we have a bathroom area over here with some toddler potties, a bathtub, and then a couch that they can nap on or they can nap in the tent. And then we have a tree house or a doll house over here, the unicorn and the toys. And I even have some baked goods on this bakery rack, or not baked goods, but basically meals that they can grab whenever and these will last for days. So they're just going to hang out here at their parents' store to save their mother a little bit on daycare. Why are you eating, Regina? Are you hungry or something? She's not hungry. Does she have a good appetite or something? Is that why? Yeah. So, hmm. Even if it's spoiled. Oh, she can eat spoiled food because she's a good eater. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh, I need some place downstairs that they can set their dirty plates on. Otherwise, they're going to go all the way upstairs and set it somewhere up here. Oh, that's not ideal. Oh, people are actually listening to Adora today. So that's kind of interesting. We're getting some tips. Why don't you go use the bathroom? There is a toilet. Oh, she's pregnant again. You need to go use the bathroom. I don't know why the employees will not use the bathroom. Maybe we'll just allow her to clock out early because it is almost eight hours since she's been here anyway. I don't want her to pee her pants. She keeps getting pregnant. Okay, you're not ringing up people. Since you're not doing your job, I'm going to make you stock and clean. Okay, we made 2,681 simoleons this time. You know, Richard doesn't even have the morning buff anymore. Why is he still being stricken by sadness? He has the blues grief type. I haven't checked into all of the pack effects, but this basically undoes that patch they had where you weren't supposed to be sad for three or four days because someone you knew died. Well, now we have this blues grief that he gets and it's a trait and he's not mourning anybody he's not grieving he does not have a buff for it why is he getting this it's like basically another gloomy trait maybe it's because he got rid of the mourning buff by being cheered up by someone else and perhaps that bugged it well, we're back at the store again, and the toddlers won't be having their birthday until tomorrow. So we'll just spend one more day here at the store. Oh, is she finally going to go use the restroom? Okay, so sometimes employees will go and take care of their needs. Good, because I feel really bad when the pregnant lady pees on the floor. Oh, Maybe I can switch his slob trait for neat? Yeah, that's better than being a slob. I hate the fact that he's a slob. It's because he's cleaning at the store and I also have him taking care of the toddlers downstairs. 
Okay, I actually stayed open until the next day, 18 hours, and we have 1,786 net profit. But the best thing is that we got the serious shopper perk reward. So hopefully people will be more likely to buy when they first enter the store. Okay, it's finally the toddler's birthdays. Now, since GeekCon is in town, I think we're just going to wait for the kids to get home from school. And then we're going to go to the karaoke bar slash daycare over here and hang out at GeekCon. And I guess we'll have a birthday party at the daycare. It's a lot that I downloaded off the gallery. Um, I'm not sure if this will be appropriate for toddlers because it looks like it has a lot of infant stuff in there. Oh, well, it definitely is not appropriate for children, but we do have GeekCon out here, so that'll be nice. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a toddler and infant place. Well, that's fine. I mean, we do have toddlers still, but... It's their birthday, so they're not going to be a toddler very much longer. And then next door, we have the karaoke bar. So this is actually qualified as a karaoke bar. And I forget who did this lot. Ayo Hasaka? I'm not sure because this might be like abbreviations for their first name and then their last name. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is the nursery and karaoke bar and it is quite nice. And I think it has an upstairs. Oh, okay. So it's a small upstairs. The bathrooms are upstairs and there's more karaoke upstairs. So while this is a nursery, I'm not sure if I want something that is just a nursery. I think I would maybe add more kid activities, not just toddler activities, although there is a play tent and some stuff that kids can do, like the dollhouse and things like that. So maybe we'll put just a couple of drawing tables out here, and then it can be for both kids, toddlers, and infants, all three. Okay, we can't technically have it here because it's a karaoke bar and these are children. So we're just going to blow out the candles and call it a birthday party anyway. Oh, you guys took the cake. You weren't supposed to take the cake. Come on, of all the things. I put things out on the table for you guys to eat and you took the cake. It's a good thing I have more than one cake. Okay, for some reason, I cannot age up the toddlers with a cake, and I don't understand why. You can't do it at a karaoke bar, I guess? Or maybe because I tried to start a birthday party, it's glitched. I can blow out the candles with Adora, but for whatever reason, the kids cannot. And that's going to mess up the birthday presents too, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess we're just going to have to pretend that we blowed out the candles. <laughs> anyway, we'll remove the candles. And we'll just say, Happy birthday, Paisley! Okay, Paisley is going to be a perfectionist. And I guess we'll give her the artistic prodigy aspiration. And she's a happy toddler. Okay, well, do Regina next. Happy birthday, Regina. Okay, and Regina. Hmm, let's make her proper. And we'll make her a social butterfly. Okay, and then Case. Now, spoiler alert, Case is going to be the heir. I have already decided because the other two are blue children. And I am done with blue kids in this legacy. I really want to get back to a regular skin tone. So happy birthday, Case. Oh, and Case is also a happy toddler. So I think Case is supposed to be someone who doesn't like to make money. And so it's supposed to be he has a trait that's opposite of materialistic. And I don't know why the Lucid Simmer didn't think about this, but there is the trait 
a freegan, which is the opposite of being materialistic. And you can't get that as a child though. So what I will do is make him a recycled disciple because I think that also fits. And then, yeah, I'm not sure what else. I guess a social butterfly kind of fits because he wants to travel. I'm not sure that we'll even do that aspiration, but let's just go ahead and go with that. Okay, and maybe we should give him a makeover. Okay, I'm not sure how he got this hair. Um, he had red hair, although I'm not sure he how he had the red hair in the first place because maybe it's because Adora has like multicolored hair. But anyway, this is kind of like a blonde hair and he was like a redhead. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the redhead. And he has those brown eyes, which is fine. Okay. And I like I very much like the freckles. So I'm um, not a fan of this outfit for the everyday look. So let's just take a look at what we got here. Yeah, this very much looks like a recycled look to me. I don't know why, but it looks like it's recycled. And then this can be your formal wear because you'll never see it. Yeah, that's pretty good for athletic. This is fine for sleep. There's not that much choice for the party look so let's try and find something different i guess something that just looks like it was pulled off of the uh thrift store rack <laughs> ah yes i like that one that one's pretty cute actually all right and then we're just gonna go with this for swimwear because it doesn't really matter hot weather that's not too bad that kind of looks like it's thrifted and maybe we'll go with something like this for his cold weather look and that's it Okay, everybody's opening their presents. And what did we get? An art table, a gaming ring, golden ticket marble. Okay, so the game ring for the marbles. A bubble bottle. All right. Well, that was a little bit um, imbalanced. Someone got a bubble bottle and someone got an art table. Okay. What is all this? It's like coffee and cupcakes and oh my word, drinks and plates that I guess everyone dropped, but it's like a trail of them leading over here. Oh, that is weird. That is so weird. It's like everyone turned into a coffee or a cupcake. The worst part is I cannot destroy these. Oh, this save file is so screwed up. And there's little sippy cups. They're just in the world and there's nothing I can do about it. All right, well, it's littering. <laughs> it's just, I've never seen that before. That is really, really weird. You can't even destroy them. They're just there. It's like everybody's trash just materialized. Okay. Now well, that was an exciting birthday party. And Case looks thrilled. <laughs> They're kind of having a little chat over here. But I think it's time to go home. It's 9 p.m. and I think you have school tomorrow. Yes, you do. Okay, so we have redone the kids' bedrooms. And now we have kids' beds. I also added an outdoor play area out here for the kids since we really have seven kids in one household oh i hear it who is it no not again trevor well he is an elder so pretty sure that he can't get pregnant because the game will not allow elders to get pregnant pretty sure that applies to alien pregnancies well we are not having any more kids that's for sure um i was not aware that butlers could get pregnant what is up with everybody getting pregnant 
My employee's been pregnant twice, and now the butler? Well, hello again, Trevor. I know he's not pregnant. I'm not even going to bother checking. Oh, it's Winterfest. So, do we have school on Winterfest? No, we do not. Okay, so there's no school today. I don't think we'll be opening the store today either. So, let's just have some fun with Winterfest. Oh no, who died on Christmas? Okay, it might have been one of the old butlers. I don't remember who that is. Okay, before you get any ideas about dying, Adora, go calm yourself down. Unfortunately, she's hysterical because of the funny conversation. It's one thing you have to be careful about on Winterfest because a lot of people are doing the belly laugh in order to do the holiday merriment. I wonder if we can get everyone in here to light the tree. It did allow me to select everyone, but I don't know. It's only supposed to let you have eight people in a group. Oh, I think it's actually working. Hello, random guy that's not part of the family. Yeah, that's right. You leave. Well, I thought it would be cute that everyone is in their pajamas, but Trevor's pajamas aren't really that um decent. So maybe we'll just change his outfit. Okay, the other decorations parts only allow me to select eight people. So a couple people aren't going to be able to do this part. But it's so cute. Okay, and now we're going to put the topper on, but everyone is sick. Why is everyone sick? Okay, those presents look pretty nice under that tree. Let's see if we can get everyone in here to open presents. Now, before you do the opening presents, you can get them to all come around the tree to light the tree. So that gets them all in the same general area. Oh, and Adora is sick too. Okay, let's see if we can get the presents thing to work. This hardly ever works for me. It seems like people don't like to gather for the presents. But this is a pretty open space compared to what I normally have. Okay, we do get some people opening presents and more people getting sick. It figures for the holidays when all the kids are around, they're all sick. Oh, and of course it's Father Winter. Oh no, now Trevor's hysterical. Calm yourself, Trevor. The holiday times are really rough when it comes to being hysterical because you get so many positive buffs, especially the good holiday one, it's plus three, and that can stack up with a lot of other things from the holiday that just make your Sims so happy. And then if they get a playful buff as their most powerful buff, then yeah. Okay, he calmed down, so he's fine. Okay, unfortunately, kids cannot use the recycler, but Case is a recycled disciple. So he has convinced his parents, Adora and Richard, to buy him a dumpster and a recycler. So I've also changed the lot properties so that we have the reduce and recycle lot challenge. And that means we will be taking care of the trash. Uh, my butler has gone into labor, I think. Oh, she has three babies. Yeah, she's actually in labor. How is this possible? I didn't think that butlers could get pregnant because they're employees. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that. She might be having a baby soon. Of course, it won't be in this household. She can't have a baby here. Okay, I've kind of got this outdoor play area going. And we have the monkey bars and a spaceship and then we have this huge tree house that we're building. And the idea is that Case doesn't like to live inside. He likes to live outside in the tree house. So his parents are trying to make him happy. 
what? Unfortunately, Richard was not able to cope with grief in the most productive ways, resulting in a personality trait change. I'm not putting him back to a slob. Nope, not allowed. Okay, the kids are home, but this time we're not going to the retail store. We're going to continue building the treehouse. Okay, we're just taking another day off to upgrade the treehouse and celebrate New Year's Eve. So maybe we'll have a family party at home and watch the countdown. Okay, everybody watch the countdown to midnight. It's only 1126 and some of them already got credit for it. Well, this is the end of the week and from now on, Case is going to live in the treehouse outside. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.